Hi, Stacy here with Limelight AZ. Um, this video is actually from Mindy, who posted to my last video asking what a Herx was. Um, I think that this is a really good question, and um, I had started typing out to her a response, but then decided that maybe it was a better idea just to go ahead and do a video on it. Since I'm sure that she is not the only one who wonders what this is, you only kind of figure it out by talking to other Limeys um, within the Lime community, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, and then you start being able to identify it within yourself. So um, a Herx, or Herxine, is short for Herxheimer reaction. Herxheimer is, a name, is the last name of the person who discovered it. Um, Obviously, a good portion of us Limeys experience Herxine, and so it's talked about um, well within the Lyme community. So a Herx reaction happens because when the Lyme bacteria dies in our bodies, it puts off endotoxins, and those endotoxins make us very, very sick. Um, so our body is trying to process these dead bodies, um, through our liver and our kidneys and our lymphatic system. And if you know much about Lyme, you know that the Lyme likes to mess with those things, particularly the, the lymphatic system. It has a tendency to shut it down. Um, so if your body can't get rid of toxins, it makes you really, really sick. Um, that's what I just went through. I went through a really bad Herx um, because I had killed off too much Lyme too quickly and my body was overloaded and was trying to process it. And it took, here it is, almost three days later. Um, it took almost three days for my body finally to catch up. During that time, you, you feel really sick. Each of us are a little bit different for how we feel. Um, me, personally, I'm starting to kind of see a pattern with uh, my body being achy. Um, a lot more stiff than it normally is, even work with regular Lyme symptoms. Um, joints not working very well. Um, often just blah stomach for me. Um, and sometimes even feeling enough nausea to want to throw up. Um, I thankfully have not gotten to that point yet. I'm sorry, I'm going to shut that alarm off. My son likes to make a uh, alarm and siren sound, so I had to tell him to stop. Um, anyways, so um, so those are kind of the symptoms for me. It also really messes with my brain. I know when the Lyme dies, it creates ammonia in your brain, um, which can cause inflammation. Um, that tends to be a problem for me, uh, for sure, uh, and really causes me to be extremely emotional, like like I was, I was talking about, just ridiculously emotional. Um, and I, I've always been a person that can really kind of rein in on her emotions and not let other people, um, get close to me over my emotions unless I want them to. This, I have no control over my emotions and I just start bawling at the drop of a hat, especially if I'm herxine. Um, so herxine is not fun, but it is a necessary part of um, clearing out the Lyme from your system. You cannot get rid of Lyme without dealing with herxine. There is no way to do that. Um, if you can get rid of the Lyme while well, they're still alive, maybe, but not, I mean, the only way that we know of to get rid of them is to kill them. But, um, uh, Currently, the only way to get rid of them is dead. So when you kill them, you end up herxine. Um, you, if you manage your your stuff well, then it's mild herxine, and that's kind of the sweet spot that you want to be in. You want to be uncomfortable, but not miserable. And what I went through was too much, too fast, and uh, took too much for my body to get through. Um, so I, I think that the reason that happened to me is a number of factors. I'm dealing with a lot uh, physically anyway. I was on a bunch of supplements um, that I had recently started on, and my stomach just was not doing well. I was barely eating anything. Um, there was one day I ate like half a, half a turkey patty and maybe half a cup of canned fruit. And that was all. And the only reason I ate that was because I had to take supplements and I can't take supplements on an empty stomach. 
So um, I have since knocked out all of my supplements except for my vitamin C. Vitamin C is critical to be venom therapy. Um, so I am still taking the vitamin C. And then uh, once I my body seems to acclimate to the vitamin C again, which I, I so far I think I'm okay, uh, but giving my, chance, my body a chance just to be like, okay, this is the only thing we're consuming um, besides food. And, um, so then I'm going to start adding in one supplement at a time to, um, allow my body a chance to not be overburdened with trying to consume these various, um, supplements. And also if I do end up with a reaction to one of them, then I can easily figure out which one it is. So, um, definitely the, um, the, supplements were causing me an issue. I've had this cold now for like a week. I'm finally on the, on the, um, better end of that, but I'm still hacking a little bit and, and I don't feel great. And I, my voice is still a little messed up. Um, I've been on at that time of the month for me, um, which from what I understand is never fun for limeys. And then it was also new moon. Um, on top of that, we had my bees disappear. The remaining like 30 to 40 disappeared. We got a new batch. And I suspect that this new batch is stronger um, than the last batch that we had. And on top of that, um, when I went from the two stings to four stings, it was fine. But then um, I only sting twice instead of three times for that week when I was stinging with four. And then jump to six. And um, I think just all of it together was just a perfect storm and and caused this really, really bad herxing. Um, on the upside, that meant that I killed a lot of Lyme, which is good. But on the downside is it was too much. I, With everything else that my body's been dealing with, um, I just, I think it was just overkill. And literally. And... Um, so I decided that I needed an extra day today, and that's what I did. So herxing is a balancing act. You want to herx. You can't kill the Lyme. You can't get rid of the Lyme disease without um, herxing. In fact, just just side note, uh, people say that you can't get rid of the Lyme once it's gone chronic. I disagree, and I think that bee venom therapy is a strong probability for actually getting rid of the Lyme. Um, but you can't, you can't get rid of the Lyme without killing it. And so, um, definitely a balancing act and, and trying to make sure that you feel bad, but not so bad that you're like just downright miserable like I was. Um, but at the same time feel bad enough so that you know that it's doing something that whatever your, your protocol is that you're doing is actually doing something. So, um, I'm sure I'll do that a couple more times where I'm just like, oh my gosh, I think I need to back off for a little bit um, or take a longer break or something like that. This is just the beginning, and but um, it's a balancing act. So herxing, not fun, but necessary. Um, I hope that was able to answer your question. And if you've got any other questions, feel free to ask.